Hey everybody, I did my makeup today. It was time consuming and I never doing it again. Anyway, today I had two classes, my expression class and my civilization class. The civilization class is really fun because it's, we're in the ancient time period right now and I love it. I love it. I love looking at ancient Rome and why they fell and how France played a role in that even though it wasn't France yet. It was Gaul or however you're supposed to say it in English. Is it bad that I know how to say some things in French and not English? Probably. Oh well. <laughs> um, I'm excited because I'm actually going out tonight. We're going to go to trivia. It's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. I'm socializing on a weeknight, y'all. This is special. I am socializing and it's going to be great. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's going to be fun, if only for the trivia, because I love trivia. Trivia is fun. Um, what's that? Nope. Let's see. Expression class was fun today because we got to learn all of the things that the French say. And that's always fun because they have so many ways. They have so many ways of saying things and it's fun. At least for me, so you're gonna have to sit through this too, I'm sorry. I'm not really sorry. I'm just saying I'm sorry so that I make you feel better. Slightly. But yeah, look at all of these. And I made notes on other ones you can say. There are like 30 of them that I have to memorize because that was a chair. There are 37 of them that I have to memorize because there's gonna be a quiz in like two weeks. And we're gonna have like other vocabulary lists for that one too. But they're fun. They're fun. Like, oh my goodness. Let's see, which one did I like the most? There's one that's really funny because it's really similar to English. Um, avoir les yeux plus grands que le ventre. Having eyes bigger than your stomach. We see that. It's literally translated like that too. Also, une quiche, this is a southern French expression for a stupid person, specifically a girl. Um, it's not the lovely at tart that you can eat. Those are delicious, but that's not what that means. And then, completely unrelated to that, there's être quiche, which means to be packed in like sardines, which is hilarious, which kind of makes sense because quiche in France Really, the only thing that's required is a tart shell and eggs for it to be considered a quiche and whatever else you want to throw into it. It's kind of like pasta for Italians. Um, you'll always have pasta and leftovers and you just kind of throw it all together. So there's that. And that's really fun. Faire quelque chose au nez ou au pif. Pif means uh, nose. Uh, ne means nose. To do something by the nose uh, means to do something by approximation. You just kind of feel it. Which is why the French also have this expression, avoir le pif, which means to have the intuition. Have intuition. You don't need an article before nouns in English, Megan. <sighs> when you start using French grammar in English. <laughs> but yeah. We also learned how to say things like I am full without saying je suis pleine because that's actually a really vulgar expression in uh, French because pleine refers to number one, pregnancy, number two, the pregnancy of animals and when you apply that to actual humans, it's not nice. That's actually seen as something really, really insulting. It's like how... Um, the B word that means female dog is offensive when you use it t towards women. It's because you're applying an animal term to a human, therefore lowering their importance. Uh, this is also done in genocides. For example, in the Rwandan genocide, the Tutsis were called cockroaches. Um, in the Holocaust, the Jews were referred to rats. Um, these are words for vermin and it completely takes away their humanity. 
So that's why those kinds of words are offensive. That's why ass is also a swear word. But yeah. Let's see. Also, another word that's like this in French is gull. Gull means a snout, basically. Um, but you can also say ta gueule, which basically means shut the up. Uh, um, it's incredibly vulgar, so don't say it. It's not nice. It's worse than femme ta bouche, um, which also means shut up, but in a really, really mean way. Like, to multiply it times three from how shut up means in English, because it's just not nice. Uh, tais toi is the nice way to do it. It's the nice shut up. <laughs> There's a nice shut up. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, all of these are fun. Oh, also, c'est pas terrible, um, even though it mean, this would technically mean it's not bad, it means it's really bad. C'est pas terrible means, oh, 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 that was horrifying. Um, we also talked about French slang. And French slang is so fun because there's this type of French slang where they flip the word around. It's called verlan because verlan is the inverse of l'envers, which means inverse. <laughs> I love it. And and there's a French, there's a Belgian artist, Stromé, who used this because Stromé is actually verlan for maestro. Isn't this cool? <laughs> I love this. I love the way words work. But yeah, this was me nerding out because today was a very nerd out day. But I hope you guys have enjoyed learning about French words and some fun French expressions. Um, but yeah, that was what I learned today. And tomorrow, it's going to be fun. I will see y'all then with another little video diary update, whatever this is. Bye!